Hey, I'm Colin Kelly, and I want to invite you to join me for my Creative Color Science 2 Masterclass, taking place on May 20th through 22nd. Now, if you're here, you probably don't need me to sell you on the fact that high-end look development requires more control and more context than we have access to in Resolve's color page. Luckily, as we learned in Creative Color Science 1, what we need is just a click away in Resolve's Fusion page, where we can deconstruct LUTs, visualize our manipulations, and create custom tools and transforms, all without needing to write a single line of code. Creative Color Science is like outer space. It's a vast frontier, and half the challenge of exploring it is figuring out how to bring our discoveries back to Earth. So I have two big goals for you in this course. The first, take you deeper in your exploration. I'll expose you to math, models, concepts, and tools you won't be shown anywhere else. You'll learn about higher order matrices, function plotting, 3D curves, and specialized saturation models, just to name a few topics. The second goal is to help you identify the tools and methods that work best for you and distill them into your ideal look dev workflow. Just like color grading, look development should be personal, intuitive, and simple. And just like color grading, it takes skill and focused effort to get your look dev practice to this place. No one understands or applies these concepts better than my guest for our final session, Steve Yedlin, ASC. Steve is one of the most successful creative color science practitioners I know, and he's gonna share his personal journey with emulation and look development, and give us a glimpse into the tools and methods that he's used in the imaging of some of my favorite movies. Remember, you don't need a PhD or a genius IQ to practice creative color science. You just need curiosity, patience, and the right teacher. See you in class.